So I've started my travel. I am in Atlanta waiting to go to Chicago. She get there pretty late, about 11.30 uh, Central Time. I'm taking the um, car service to the hotel. I'm staying at the Palmer. It's a Hilton property at the Palmer House. Um, should be fun. Just a quick day trip tomorrow, doing a recipe shoot for work. And then I'll head back and be a bachelor. Hotel's like a maze. It's really pretty. It's older, but uh, kind of easy to get lost in here. And I am way far away from the elevators, but that's like a first world problem. I'm hungry, man. Trying to find some food. Just real quick. It's like 11, 12 o'clock. It's 12 o'clock. I haven't eaten. Poor travel planning on my part. What a difference seven hours makes. So last night, I was trying to get something to eat and went out. It was a little bit after 12, probably wasn't the safest thing to do. So I got hit up by some, uh, some folks on the street. Um, kind of this is what it is. I ended up giving my sandwich away, and giving a couple drinks away, like juice. All right, so I made it back to the crib. It's uh, it's kind of late. Maria and Garrison are gone. Mm. Y'all, y'all see that President Obama video? I know if you're on Instagram, or if you're on Facebook, or if you haven't been living under a rock, that you've seen it. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna go political on you. Um, <clears throat> where I'm probably. You know, in the middle, independent, I get President Obama. I will go political on you. Voted for him the first time, didn't vote for him the second time. No big deal. You know, no one man can really change um, the political landscape significantly in this era. He's just got too much dysfunction going on. If you strip everything away, we all kind of want the same thing. Everybody wants to take as much money home as they can. Probably feel like you should help your neighbor if they're down. How we get there, we just can't agree on. That's our political system in a nutshell. However, however, the man is done campaigning. Chuckle, chuckle, chuckle. I know, but I won both. Oh, I think I've watched that video, like, I've probably contributed to, like, 20 or 30 views over Instagram and Facebook on that video. I just, I, I, I just, I can't get enough of it. It's don't come for me. It's, I, I just, where is M.A. when I need her? When, I, when my comedic flair is here, she's not here. I just, I just can't. I can't. I'm going to do like Obama did. I'm just going to have to be like, Ooh. Yes, I'm in bed watching YouTube, having a complete nerd moment, getting ready to watch the history of the legend of Zelda. I just got done working out and getting some work done. Um, now it's time to veg for about 45 minutes and then go to sleep. The Zelda timeline, it's going down. You can tell LeMay's not here, can't you? Creating a timeline of war at their avid communities. 
Some of you guys have asked if I'm still using my training mask. The answer to that is yes. I hadn't been using it as much. Winter time has really been hard. Um, less light, less time to be active. But I'm back jumping rope. Uh, 12 minutes in the morning, 12 at night. Probably about three or four days a week. Just spiking that metabolism. So I'll talk more about my plan, what I'm doing in the gym. Had a great day lifting yesterday. <clears throat> um, yeah, back to jumping. I made it! I'm in Miami. It's wonderfully warm here and uh, I cannot wait to eat. I am starving. It's been a very long day, early morning long day. So uh, gonna grab something to eat if I make it safely and uh, enjoy my trip. <laughs> to Detroit. This is the uh, park heading toward Concourse A. I'm not going to ask the truth. Not that I've done acid before. Nice. Two, 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 takeover. I mean, we don't have to use that. I was just saying it. No, no, no. That's actually perfect. I was just saying two, 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 takeover. Let me see. Two, two, takeover. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is our room. It's so freaking adorable. This is our little lounge area. I'm gonna have my computer and stuff sit up here. I left my charger, so I'm gonna have to go buy one. But dude, this room is plush. I don't even have to pull it out, B. Pull what out? I can just like sleep on oh, the couch. I'm just telling you. I mean, you can, don't have to be right here. And look at our view, you guys. Whoa. That's ocean and that's the Whoa. beach. So, Turn up. <laughs> the 2 2 takeover. <laughs> you sure as no? I think it probably is. Okay, so here's the story behind the 2 2 takeover. Ooh, so, ooh. Today is her birthday, which is January 22nd. I'm born 11 22nd. She was married on the 22nd. Her husband is a 22nd. We got all these two twos in our family. All of my first cousins that were born first are all born on 22nds. It's just like a really strong number for both of us. So it's the two two takeover and look at our room number. Bam. Right, Destin. <laughs> Classic Hubs move, y'all. So there's, uh, I guess, three double trees in the Hilton. So, you know, I've got a 33% chance of not paying attention to pick the right one. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention and didn't pick the right one. Uh, I've done that. This is not the third time traveling on business where I've uh, been at the wrong hotel. Uh, I'm not switching this time because um, I would be a little far away from the research facility. At least I'm glad I have my own vehicle um, that, was, that I rented. So off to the uh, the right double trio in Minneapolis. Uh, Maria is in Miami. Both starts for them, but one is really cold and one is not. But I'm hoping she's having a good time. So I'll be in um, California next week, and then in Tampa, no Austin, Texas, and then Tampa, Florida. So I'll get my fair share of um, of nice weather. But uh, let's get to the right hotel. No, that's not white sand. That's snow. That's snow, Maria. That's snow. And even though the wind's blowing and I'm cold, I don't, know, I don't have a hat. I don't do the hat thing. Unless I'm at the gym. 
you still deserve a vacation, man. So, warm weather in your sands. Cold. Good morning. Headed to uh, get some work done. <clears throat> Be back in Knoxville later tonight. It's kind of a long week of travel. As you can see, it's dark and cold. I wonder what Maria's up to. She's probably up by now. Sunny, sandy on the beach. No shade, no hate. <coughs> but it's cold up here. Good morning. We're having breakfast on ocean. And uh, I'm editing real quick to get this vlog up for you guys on vacation. Selfie queen over here, looking fab. We're gonna eat breakfast, head over to the beach, and then just enjoy the rest of our day. I think I'm gonna get egg florentine. Two poached eggs served over spinach with smoked salmon topped with holiday sauce, which I love me some holiday sauce. Orange juice, water, I need plenty of water, and uh, should be a good day. Thank you. Can y'all say we about to tear this food up? We have been non-stop eating since we got in this piece, okay? That's all we've been doing. Look at her waffle. We got happy. We just got happy. I'm telling you, if you come to Miami, it's great for the sun, the weather, the being able to just wear beach clothes all day, but dude, the food is so good, you can't sleep on it. So, egg florentine, and it's got salmon, my poached egg, holiday sauce. It should have some sort of green, yeah, spinach, and it's all on a French um, English muffin, and then I got potatoes. We need some ketchup. Yummy to my tummy, yum, yummy to my tummy. I need to cut that, so don't steal it. I'm gonna I'm a make that. I'm gonna get Jay to drop me a beat. That's gonna be my new theme song. Because all I like to do is eat, eat, eat. Alright guys, we finally made it to the beach. Finally. Over here and it's could not feel better. She didn't leave anything for us to watch. Watch us somebody stuff. But it feels so good. The seagull saying hi. Say hi, seagull, seagull. menu but it's Italian something filling but we still gonna eat again because that's oh they got paella they got who? it's my favorite it takes a long time to get it though paella is so good it's rice you can get it with shrimp and all these other things but the seasonings on the rice are incredible it's over here it's expensive but it's big it's a big dish so good but let's see what I'm gonna get mm -mm -mm. the fettuccine with chicken. Sorry, I'm still chewing a piece of bread. Don't y'all hate when y'all order something and it ain't what you want or it don't taste right? We both just sent back two things. So I'm hoping this food gonna be right. It's perfect. It's so rich. What'd you say? That's what made me kind of wonder. It's so good. So good. I'm Gino, by the way. Hi, Gino. Where are you from? I was born and raised here in South Beach. Oh, wow. This is my elementary school. Right here. Called Fisher. Thank you. 
they kicking it in this in this H and M. This is the H and M I'm in. Off of Collins. And All Saints too. At least we can look. Yeah, All Saints is down here. Maybe it was further down. Cause I was like, how did they have that window? It's right there. I see it okay. with all them sewing machines in it. Okay. You're tripping. Y'all want to see some break dancing? Just got done absolutely demolishing the gym. I know my lips are all crusty and ashy and gotta get some water. Um, I got in late last night, got to bed late. I really need to dial my diet in. <clears throat> so I've been talking about that. MA's been talking about it. Um, I put on some muscle mass, but just mass in general. I need to get that off. So I think I'm gonna do my 21 day program or 40 day or something. I gotta. I gotta rein it in, because the strength, the strength is definitely coming, which is a lovely thing. Um, I just feel strong. 
sorry, my brother just sent me a text message. He's leaving for London uh, today, <clears throat> but uh, just feel strong. Um, work sets, I'll have to explain what work sets are, but those are the sets that kind of count. You know, they're not the warm up sets that you do. Um, today I did on bench uh, three sets of five at 285, which is a, a best for me. Um, squatting three sets of 325, three sets of five or 325. That's not my highest. These aren't my highest one rep maxes, but um, when you build strength, you need to do minimal amount of uh, workloads, um, reps, uh, and then progress every week. Deadlift, I did. Um, I shouldn't have done deadlift today, but I was feeling it, so I did it. My one rep max today was a uh, 485, no 475, but I did um, five sets of 455. Um, power clean, I usually don't power clean, but I'm adding that into my routine. I don't know, I guess I was just scared of the clean. But my one rep max was a 205, but I did five sets of three, so a little different, of 185. And then shoulder press, uh, also known as just the press, different than a push press, which is where you kind of jump. Um, three sets of five at 185. Uh, no, three sets of five at 165, but at one rep at 185. Which, that's heavy. My goal is to lift my body weight, so to do that, I need to lose some weight. Because to lift 250 pounds over your head without jumping, that's some serious strength. And I'm working toward that. But having a lovely day, having a little staycation because the wife's gone, the baby's gone, so I'm living like a single guy, you know, just living in sweats, no food in the house because I've been traveling, but I'm getting ready to go to the office. Sorry, y'all, I got a booger on my nose. Oops. Getting ready to go to the office and uh, get some work done So I got to travel next week and the week after, the week after that. So trying to get ahead, and then guess what? I'm going back to the gym to do some cardio. No more weights today. I won't lift weights until Monday. And I put some Vaseline or something, some MA product on these lips because they look a little ashy. Have a great Saturday. I'm going to have a great Saturday. Good, how are you? This is going to be an adventure for sure. We're going out on trikes. Are you excited, B? I am. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a video. So we are going to go out and explore Miami via three wheels, standing. Y'all heard my bike story. Pray for us. A squat. No, like a squat, Bridget. I know you know how to do it. I know you know how to do it. Squat and back. Uh-huh. You're not hitting the brake? you supposed to be on the brake when you're standing on it. Both brakes. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Y'all, we on our trikes. We riding around and getting it in this piece. I'm about to be gone in the wind, fabulous. <laughs> we ready. We about to hit these Miami streets. Keep straight. <laughs> I'm videoing. It's kind of hard. Don't hit me. <laughs> okay, we're back because my battery went dead and mine was like stuttering. So we're going to be riding around and getting it.
real soon. Up is the hubs. Uh, cooking some chili for dinner tonight. Lazy man style. Brought to you by uh, Bush's Beans. So, we've got two cans of chili magic. This comes in a 16 ounce. Two cans of fire roasted potatoes. Excuse me, tomatoes, not potatoes. One can of... Um, it's our Cocino Latina. I like refried beans. Machicados. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, machicados. You can use refried beans as well. Bush's refried beans, of course. And then uh, one can of um, kidney beans. We got some grass fed beef, ground beef that I'm um, browning right now. Add a little chili powder to it. I'll be eating in a few. Cause you know I'm all alone by the phone waiting on you to call on a busy weekend. Not really. But you know, I thought I'd hit y'all with a couple notes real quick. But I am alone. No dog. Just me in the house by myself. It's funny. I make that by myself. I wasn't going to tell y'all this, you know. I haven't even told M.A. this. Because it's really no big deal. But man, I was at the IHOP getting some uh, dinner. A little protein, omelet, late last night when I got in. It's like the only thing that's open. 11 o'clock, 11.30. <laughs> I'm at the register. And uh, me, you know, big mouth. Lady asked me, oh, you know, you getting you getting this for your, you know, the missus at home. Well, all the missus is out of town, just me. Do you want some company? I was like, what? Is this happening for real? And I was just like, no, I'm, um, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. She's like, I'm being serious. I was like, I, I know you are. I just take it as a compliment. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to say. You know, I'm all, you know, fly and stuff. And I, I know that. But I don't need you to, you know, try to come home with me tonight. Um, craziness. Caught me off guard. I had to skedaddle on out of there. Got my food, of course. Didn't act all awkward and stuff. But <clears throat> so you're not going to get me killed. I'm not going out like that. I'm going out after like 80 years of being married. Ooh, that means we'll be 110 years old. Maybe like 70 or 60 years. Good morning! We're at the sugar factory again. <laughs> Look at this waffle. That's ice cream, bananas, strawberries, nuts, fudge, Whipped cream, banana slip, waffle. How crazy is that? And I got some sausage links and I got a hot chocolate. It was a little nippy here this morning. Now I feel pretty good. How are you feeling? You're not cold, are you? No. How's your waffle? She got a really good waffle too with her little chocolate malt she's in love with. This girl will have them bring her a whole cup of them if she could. Nothing beats coming home after a long trip. But even more than that, nothing beats coming on to a clean house. So it's Sunday. <clears throat> I'm cleaning. Doing the normal stuff, like vacuuming and doing the floors. Got to dust. Um, do the bathrooms. Uh, get done with that. <clears throat> I'll change. Just got back from the gym. Doing a little bit of running. And uh, just trying to get the house ready. Make it easy, because I have to travel on Monday. So I can't do things at the last minute. I actually have to plan ahead. But um, nothing beats coming home, you know, if you've been gone for a while to a clean house. So I'm going to change the sheets and just do all the little maintenance stuff. So that way, whether I'm home or not, when Marie and Garrison get here, uh, there's nothing really to do other than be home. So um, I don't know why. I'm dreading going to the grocery store today. I don't know. I just don't feel like going. But I'm going to have to get myself in gear and go because I don't want to wait till the last minute to have food in the house. I'll at least have a couple meals ready for him. Back to cleaning. Ball.
Y'all see all that? See, normally, that's bad news. But I'm so smart. Every once in a while. I'm dusting. Okay. I'm in our closet. And I was kind of dusty up there. Hence me dusting. What did I do, though? I took a picture. I took a picture of it. So I can make sure to put it back right. Because M.A. will know. She's going to know, even before she sees the video, that something is up minus the dust. She's going to know that I touched it. She'll appreciate it because it's been dusted. However, I'm proud of myself, y'all. I took a picture of it. Pro tip. Take a picture of your wife's stuff before you move it. Hey, y'all. It's just Uncle Jay. Uh broadcasting from an undisclosed location <laughs> I'm actually in London right now for work and today's my first day so I thought I'd scope out the area and kind of see what's around um, can't tell you quite where I'm at but it's a pretty neat place but uh, just kind of waiting for the Starbucks to open so I can go sit down somewhere and I wait to check in for the day but uh, definitely a very different experience uh, hanging out in London and uh, yeah, it's awesome to be here. It's uh, I'll show you the flat later today. I just was really tired yesterday. Didn't get any sleep in the plane, so even though I should have had sleep because I got a nice sleeper bed there. But uh, yeah, I walked about two miles today, which is uh, good. I need to get back in my, in my groove thing with the shape, getting back in the shape stuff. But yeah, I just kind of walked around and got a sense of the area. You know, in an urban environment, got to keep your keep your head in a swivel and don't look too much like you're an outsider. Um, so, not really even had a good chance to take some good vlogs. But once I get a good sense of where I am, you'll see a lot more. Signing off. Bye. Boy voyage, Miami. It's been real. Uh, what you guys we talking? kicked it. We had a wonderful time. Get in a cab, headed to the you airport. Where are you guys from? St. Louis. St. Louis. I live in Knoxville now. Tennessee. Tennessee. So it was a pleasure to be here in this beautiful weather. Yeah. You can leave here with me. This is freezing. I've got about 150 miles to drive, and it's snowing. I don't drive Maria's vehicle far much, but I'm actually glad I do have her vehicle. A little four-wheel drive action if I need it. So, headed another work trip down south of uh, Nashville. So, M.A. is on her way back <coughs> from Miami, so both of us are traveling. But, <clears throat> just had a little bite to eat. Stopped by Longhorn to get a meal. It's like 7.30 Eastern time, 6.30 standard. Now in standard time. Probably stop, pick me up some coffee, and keep rolling. Yeah, I thought y'all was going to see after five little brother me, weren't you? Ah, it's only when the maze around. Kind of. So I made it back. Where are you guys at? Where's Coco's sweater? Hi Coco. I'm back you guys. Oh, he didn't stay up for me? She went all out. Hi Garrison. Oh my baby. I was so excited. I was hoping I would get to see him. And I haven't seen him. But he sleeps, so I'm not gonna wake him. Guess I'll do some work. We made it back from Miami safe in town. Hey, so good morning. It's Uncle Jay. I'm going grocery shopping at Tesco at like six o'clock in the morning. They pick up some supplies, but uh, it's so crazy. It's 24 hours 
I opened a grocery store. It has to be massive. So, all right, peace. tailgating get up I've seen like in the ever awesome good morning I just finished Brayden Garrison's plaiting his hair for the car ride that way he can get a hat on and oh he loves that and he can uh not be pulling his hair out yeah see his little size this is where he sleeps so it's obviously shorter but his hair is ridiculous <laughs> How is your snack? Do you have a good snack? <laughs> I'm still so tired, but um, I might take a nap when he goes down for a nap, and uh, we'll get on the road this afternoon. I'll probably get on the road like around three, maybe. Cause we lose an hour going back west, going back east. Yeah, I'm tired. But he woke up and mommy duty start. Vacation's over. Y'all should see him playing with these Legos. He stacks them. He does really well with them. It's actually very impressive considering he just got these maybe like, well he was stacking them before we came, before he, he came here um, last week. But he's really doing his thing with them now. It's really sweet. Garrison. Thank you. So his size used to be a lot shorter. I've been putting uh, coconut oil and castor oil on his scalp. No, you cannot get on the computer. No, no. Come on, you can play with your Legos. Come on. Castor oil on his um, scalp and massaging it. It's definitely growing, but um, yeah, it's obviously shorter than the rest of his hair. One side isn't as bad as the other, so he must sleep on one side more but I'm gonna start braiding him and giving him little protective styles to see if it will even out and just keep him plaits and maybe corn rolling him or something. Coco. Coco. Say, I'm in love with the Coco. <laughs> I'm still in Miami nights. I'm in love with the Coco. Come here, Coco. Say, I'm in love with the Coco. Yeah. Yeah, is that Coco? Are you hungry? 
All right, let's get you some breakfast. All right, y'all. I made it back home. M.A. is at Macy's returning something for me. We're getting ready to get on the road. I got to figure out, am I going to stay up, stay up? Or am I going to, like, set an alarm? She should be here. She's leaving 8 o'clock Eastern time. It's an eight-hour drive. So 4, 5 a.m. I think I may just set an alarm for around 4.30 or so. Try to help her get CNG settled. I love my girl. I can't wait to see her. I'm a little salty, though. My gym plans tomorrow morning. I may have to rearrange. But that's all good, though, because I can always go tomorrow after work. Like when Garrison goes back down to sleep. Because I definitely want to help her get in the house and get off the road and all that stuff. She's going to be really, really tired. <clears throat> and if G is up, I can hang out with him for a little while. A good three, four hours before I go to work. Just in the event that like he won't go back to sleep. So It's all part of the plan, as Special Agent Oso would say. Anybody who has kids knows that's that's all about. More or less. Oh! Yeah, it's uh, 5 o'clock this morning. I'm up. Been up since 4.45. Been up and down. Uh, Maria is not coming in, uh, but I had made a mental reference to be up around this time. So even though I was trying to get up around 5.45, kind of had a mental reference because she was supposed to be here, uh, but she decided to leave a little bit later. So that makes me feel good. I know it's going to be a little bit of a tougher trip with G, um, but at least she's not leaving after a full day of work and then having eight hours of driving. So I'm headed to the gym. Yay! Lights out. That means it's time to go. We have conversations about that, you know, on a pretty regular basis, um, and we've had to learn how to adapt with each other. Um, I used to use a phrase, "We need to sit down and talk about that," and I think I was literally meaning that we need to sit down and talk. Um, but I would encourage. But to me, I was like, "Sit down and talk about it." Okay, here is A, B, C, D, and here is F, Y, F, Y, X, Y, Z, and what is there to talk about? Like, it and makes for me, total sense. for me, I manage the budget at my job, and we sit down and we talk about it. 